I wrote a piece in the current, I guess it's, oh, it's the preceding now, New York Review of Books, on the way the evangelicals have strategically placed people in the Food and Drug Administration, the Health and Human Services, et cetera, to, to guarantee uh, their positions on things like abstinence-only education and no condoms given out to AIDS-likely people. Uh, no teaching of uh, evolution, all of those things. They've been very successful at doing that. Uh, and in doing that, they're doing something that has occurred before in our history. Our history is a kind of seesaw between enlightened religion and evangelical religion, between, if you will, the head and the heart. Uh, our government was set up under the head, enlightened religion, the deists in the founding period, and evangelical religion was at its lowest ebb then. It took off in the beginning of the 19th century in the Second Great Awakening. Uh, and there was a period then of very strong evangelical uh, impact on the culture. It broke up in the 1830s over fights in, in the churches over slavery. They tore each other apart over that issue. Then there was another surge of evangelicals at the beginning of the 20th century, and that was the fundamentalist movement. And it tore itself apart over Darwin and the Scopes trial in the 1920s. And then there's been another surge uh, beginning at the uh, beginning of this century. By an accident, there are, it's the beginning of three centuries have had this. And I think that it's already beginning to tear itself apart in the uh, uh, aftermath of this election of the war, uh, people are now realizing that this is not God's war. You know, the, the approval of the war is down to about a third of the nation, which is roughly the number of evangelicals there are in the nation. They're the last believers. Uh, they've had extraordinary power for one good reason. They're a third of the nation, but they're well over half of the Republican Party. That means the Republican Party has to follow their lead. That's their base, and it's not merely a base like the base of a column, it's over half of who they are. Now, they want to add people to that as far as they can, but they can't neglect that base. Uh, and the, that was made clear in the Terry Schiavo case. Here the evangelicals said to Congress and the President, jump. And Congress and the president said, how high? The president rushed back from Texas overnight, got up in the middle of the night to sign a bill saying, we've got to reconsider the court cases and get life support to Terry Schiavo. Congress had passed that bill overnight. Uh, they rushed to please their base, even though 82% of the American people said the government had no business intruding in this family matter. Uh, so we have a position in which the evangelicals have outsized power in the Republican Party, and the Republican power, Party can win by the slimmest of majorities, or even by a, a non-majority in the year 2000, and they will have, and the evangelicals will have this outsized power. But I think it's beginning to wane. A lot of evangelicals are having th second thoughts on a number of things, uh, and the uh, I think that what happened to the Second Great Awakening and to the fundamentalist surge will happen to them. Uh, America is pretty resilient, and there's a strong tradition of enlightened religion, religion that is, that doesn't reject re reason, doesn't reject science, uh, religion that can say you can be a Darwinian and a believer in God. Uh, probably a majority of people think that. Uh, but they have their mouths stopped by this strident majority, which is, there's a strident minority that's a majority of the Republicans, and therefore uh, a majority of the administration. But that's an unnatural position, and they know it. You know, one of the reasons they're so desperate is that they know they're losing. Uh, gay rights is advancing slowly but steadily. Women's rights already has taken over. Uh, the rights revolution of the 60s was terribly upsetting to the evangelicals, and they're trying to reverse it but the toothpaste is out of the tube, they're not going to do it. And that's why they're so strident. 
Uh, they feel their whole world is disappearing. Godlessness is taking over. Uh, well, that's happened before, and uh, when godlessness took over, it turned out to look pretty much like God. 